M0FXB, let's do the 1.79 firmware for the Zygu G90. So we're on the Radiology site, I'll put a link in the description. Click here where it says G90 firmware, click that, download the extraction file, and I would just save it somewhere. Um, so let's, uh, let's just go straight into this. Uh, so one of the files has the actual firmware, which is you've got the G90 main unit and display units. Remember, you do this in two lots, and we'll do the main unit first. So let's uh, let's get on with it. So let's move on and open up the programs. So to get into main body firmware mode, get your USB cable and plug it into the orange COM port at the back. Then plug the other end, the blue end, or the black end into your PC. Once you've done that, double click the update tool. Like so, Terra term. Click yes. Go through the process, accept the agreement. You'll end up with this program. Launch Terra term. Okay, we've got it launched. A couple of windows here. Now we're going to just turn the radio around to the front so we can start turning it on and off. So you want your power supply connected like mine is, but you want it all turned off at the moment. So I'll back at the front. Let's turn the power supply on. And I do recommend you actually turn the power supply off to completely start this from scratch. So I've noticed that if you've got the power supply on and the radio is connected, even though the radio is turned off, sometimes the process won't complete. So we've turned the power supply on and the power cable is connected to the radio. Now let's set up our serial connection. So right click device manager. See what your COM port number is. Hopefully it's installed the driver automatically. Otherwise you have to do this. Right click it. Properties and you want the go across to port settings and you want it to say the general then port 115200 and you can change that and then click OK. And it's COM9 we're showing. So now in this window select serial we've opened this window by double clicking the terra term program we've got number nine here so that all looks good click ok now just here go down to serial in the black window down to serial and click make sure you've got 115 again com9 and then new setting once you've got to this point, now we should be able to just get it into the radio into firmware mode. Now, I always recommend you start off with the radio completely turned off. Even the power supply, you want it off completely. You don't want any power going to the radio. So we're just starting from scratch, otherwise you might have problems. Turn it on. It's very rare I he I've heard of anyone bricking a radio, so don't worry about bricking it so much. but Because it does erase the firmware first before it loads it so hopefully that will always allow you to do what I'm doing so now turn on the radio and push the spacebar really quick so radio on then spacebar and see and you get straight away you go into update firmware mode and at this point you're going to click one and it's actually going to erase the firmware now you go to file transfer, then X modem, then send, and then you're looking for the firmware for the main Unix, we'll plug into the back, double click that, and it will just write the firmware. And that's the rear unit done. Takes a few minutes, we'll do it live. Now remember, if this goes wrong, it's not the end of the world. If it does, and I'll just say it again, and I just said it, turn everything off, disconnect the power, turn everything off, make sure there's no power going to the Zygu, and if you do that, then start this process again, and you will sort it. Very rare these actually get bricked. It says completed, and that's it, working great. Now let's do the display unit and we'll be moving the lead and plugging it in on the left hand side of the display unit in the lower port. Double click the T at the bottom here to reopen the program. 
So let's double click and start from scratch. We'll select the serial com, click OK. Now we're going to go set up the serial, serial port. We select again 115200 and we're on COM9. We click new setting. Now we need to get the radio into firmware mode by turning it on and pushing spacebar. If we do it right, it will go into its update mode. It hasn't, so now it says entering DAP hold down button when powering on. So let's try that. Power it off. Hold down the volume. So push the volume, turn on. It's saying it's doing it. Let's press one. And there you are. It's now doing it. That's not actually in the instructions. Now we need to just select the firmware. So we just go file, transfer X modem send. But this time we want to do the front unit, display unit. See it here? And it's going to now put the 1.79 display unit into your computer. And it's a really good, um, it's a really good update. At the end of this, I'll just show you um, the radio working and um, the main thing is the display is improved. They've changed the filters a bit and it, it just a better, it becomes a better radio. So that's it. You can see it's now set. It's all working. It's come on automatically and we'll just do, show you some video of that. So thanks for watching my channel. 7.3. Bye for now. So there you are. Looking very nice. Nice scope there. Let's go up to another band. Let's go to 40. Busy at the moment. Sounding brilliant. See the extra colours here on the scope. And look at the filter. It's like a purple colour now. Press the comp. There you are. Press the function as well. And then we can change the comp. Press it again. So yeah, it's looking really good. The actual display is very similar to the X6100 now. And that's to show you the firmware. Hold down the F button, like so. Go all the way across with the next button to get to green. And then it, you'll see it will say 1.79. This is the B03. It just says 1.79 here, but it is the B03. And it's got dates here, October 11th, October 26th. So thanks for watching my channel, catch you on air. Go back to the thing, exit. Oh yeah, what a brilliant little radio, a built-in ATU. Quite impressed with it. I do have the Zygu X6100 as well. It's, it's, it's a similar thing, but different, because it's a mobile, quite a heavy, solid metal thing. Tuna look. And uh, what else we got? Um, we hold down power, SWR, quit that. And also if we hold down the next one, the Kia, CW decode. So yeah, looking good. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. All the best.